I'm shaking there. All right. To my future wife. Today is the day. This day is something we have both looked forward to for what seems like forever. But nonetheless, the day is finally here. I'm so thankful God put you in my life and brought us to where we are now. You are the strongest person I know. You have been there for me in my darkest moments to comfort me. And always be my, my shoulder to cry on. You have proved to me time and time again that you are the person I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. It's unbelievable how far we have come. From the day we first met, little did I know that on that specific day, I was going to meet the most perfect, loving, and caring person I could ever imagine. Little did I know I would meet the woman who would change my life forever. Today is the day. Over the past year, I have thought a lot about this day. I have wondered what it would look like and who would be by our side. This year has thrown so much out of us, but I always knew that it would have a happy ending. You have shown me that you are probably the most patient person I know. I love the passion that you have for the things that bring you joy, and I can't wait to see that passion in your eyes one day for our children. I could never ask for more in a husband. You truly are a great man. I can't wait for all the years of laughs, love, and memories we will create and share throughout our lifetime together. I promise to always be your best friend, to always make you laugh, and always be there when you cry. I'm so excited to marry you, and I can't wait to call you my husband. You are my person, my Lorraine, my princess, my baby, and most importantly, my best friend. You are truly everything I could have ever dreamed of. I love you so much. I love you with all that I am, always and forever, your future husband. I love you too. We are gathered here today to celebrate a pretty amazing couple, Lauren and Colton. The two of you together are going to have a greater impact than you ever could individually. And that's what marriage is. Marriage is two people vowing to follow after Jesus and serve him by and through serving one another. And so I want to share briefly one of the most misquoted and misunderstood passages in maybe all of scripture. But it's one where Paul sits back and he's writing to Christians trying to figure out this new command of loving people the way Jesus has loved us. And so he says this, wives, submit to your husbands as you do the Lord. And he's saying here, Lauren, your role is to support him to be his helper, to come alongside of him, to be his biggest cheerleader in this life, to be his shoulder to lean on. And a lot of people stop there. But then Paul gives a, another role to husbands, and Colton, I just gotta tell you, this one's harder. Because then he says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. How far did Jesus go in loving the church? He gave it all. He died for us. So what Paul is saying is, Colton, your role here is to leverage everything for this woman in front of you. To lay down all that you have, to lay down maybe even things that you want so that she can thrive and that she can flourish. But this is the kind of marriage that Paul would say is, is living the best marriage that God would have for the two of you. And that's what you guys are vowing to today. So we are so honored to be here to celebrate this moment. Now, before we get to the final I do's, I actually want you to do something different. I want you to look around this room at the people who have gathered. Because so often, we can begin to think that in marriage, we're alone. And I think this is evidence that you're not alone. You have so many people who are here for you, who love you, 
who, who are ready to, to shoulder this life with you. Colton, do you take Lauren to be your wife, to honor her, keep her, and love her as long as you both live? I do. And Lauren, do you take Colton to be your husband, to honor him, keep him, love him as long as you both live? I do. Well, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Colton, kiss your woman. <laughs> The over-under on me crying is about 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I look at Lauren tonight. Beautiful bride. And I just think of the little girl you were, such a wonderful, amazing woman you've become. I'm so proud. I love you. Today, she joins Colton. And Colton, man, I'm going to tell you, I couldn't be more proud of the man Lauren chose to be her life partner. Uh, the love and respect you show Lauren means the world to me. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've always known I'd be a huge crybaby on this day, Lala. Um, but being pregnant, has, we, we're just gonna blame it on that. I wasn't born with a sister, but I feel like I've never missed out on that because I haven't born. I've watched you choose others over yourself your entire life, and I hope tonight you feel so loved and celebrated. Even though you're younger than me, I will always look up to you. I do not know anyone who deserves more in life than you. That brings me to you, Colton. <laughs> I never thought I would agree that someone was good enough for my Lala until I met you. Thank you for being her person and doing it way better than I ever could. I just wanted to start by saying how much I love you both, and I'm honored that you chose me and my family to be a part of your special day. Why am I crying? <laughs> I'm pregnant too, okay? Leave <laughs> me alone. <laughs> Lauren, I couldn't be any more proud of you. <laughs> you think, seeing how close we are, that Lauren has always liked me. <laughs> well, that's not the case. Lauren likes to tell people I was demonic. <laughs> I always looked up to Lauren for as long as I can remember. She's never let me down. She's been my shoulder to cry on through many hard times. And my best friend, my best friend to laugh with through many good times. Colton, since you're finally married, you can stop seeing my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Colton, you're one of the most caring people I know, and Lauren is so lucky to have you. So to start off, FYI, I am not pregnant. So Colton, I love you. As far as Lauren, you're lucky. Everybody's feeling Colton, he's lucky. You're the lucky one. You're the lucky one. I'll leave y'all on. I hope y'all have a long, happy uh, life. And, uh, can't wait to see what y'all do in the future. Love y'all. So, <laughs> since I made it through this without crying, ever right? Everyone, please join me in toasting Lauren and Colton. May your lives together be full of happiness, love, and promises kept. And I love you both.